Hey Team B and welcome back to Phonics. Today we are going to talk about a vowel sound. Can you remind me of all the vowels, my friends? Wow, I heard someone get all of them right. Way to go. Just to remind you, they are A, E, I, O, and U. And sometimes Y acts like a vowel too. So today, my friends, we are going to talk about this sound. Ooh. Can you make that sound? Ooh. What vowel or vowels makes the ooh sound? Do you know? Can you guess? It's always good to make a guess. Good guesses, my loves. So there are actually one, two, three, four main ways to make this sound. Wow. And sometimes they're made by just vowels. And sometimes they're made by a vowel and a consonant. So all the letters take away the vowels. The ones that are left, those are consonants. Let's check out how to make this sound. Here we are, friends, with the four main ways to make the oo sound. It's also known as the long double O sound. Oo, like if I were to say boo, <laughs> boo, like in Halloween. So here we go. We can make it with the double O. We can make it by a U and then a consonant and then an E. So let's review what that is. Do you remember the magic E? You do. So for those of you who have forgotten, which is totally okay, a magic E is at the end of a word. Now here, it is going to jump over the consonant and it's going to tickle this other vowel. In this case, it's the letter U, and it makes the U say its name, like in the word flute, flute, flute. So that is another way we get the long double O sound, but with a U, a consonant, and then an E. If you're looking over here, this is the color blue. B Ooh, ooh. And that ooh sound is made by a U E together. Over here, this is a jewel. And the ooh sound is made by an E W together. J ooh ol. J ooh ol. Jewel. Wow. So friends, let's get a closer look at all of these pictures and where the oo sounds are in the words. Remember, the sounds can be at the beginning, middle, or end. Let's check it out. Here we have a sp spoon made by a double O. And here's another double O in a kangaroo. Kangaroo, kangaroo. Those are both double O sounds. And here's another double O in the word hoops. Oops. And another double O coming up here with boots. Moving down here, we have food and a toothbrush beside a goose. All double O's. But if you go here, you'll see this instrument. It's called a lute. In this case, it's made by a U, a consonant, and a magic E. It jumps over and tickles the U and makes it say its name. Lute. Here's a sailor girl. She's tying a knot and she is a crew member on a ship. A crew. Cur, ooh. And in this case, the ooh sound is an EW. 
And if we go up here, we can see another EW in the word screw. Beside it is a UE in the word glue. I bet you have used lots of glue this year in school. And our last one here is a parachute. Wow, parachute has so many letters. Parachute. And in this case, it is made by a U, a consonant, and a magic E. Let's read this passage in the middle. Do you remember the woman who lived in a shoe? She hadn't a clue what to do when her family grew. Well, through your help, they're moving in June into two big boots. <laughs> I just want to point here to here is the word through, like going through something. And in this word, the oo sound is made by a whole lot of letters. O-U-G-H. Holy moly. That is a lot of letters just to make one sound. Ew. But usually the double O long sound is made by two O's together. A U consonant E. A U-E together or an E-W. Wow. Now, my friends, thank you so much for joining us on our phonics lesson for the long double O sound, the OO sound. And I hope you have an amazing day. Try to practice some of those words. I suggest you write 10 words with the OO sound. Now you might write words with a double O, you might write words with a U consonant T, or with the UE, or even the EW. But if you practice these words, you're going to get better at them. You can do it. Let's do our handshake. Up, down, wiggle, wiggle, pop. Love you guys. Bye, friends.